In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate T-bills interest rate. It's very simple. Let's get right into it. So this is going to be a simple video. We are mainly looking at how to calculate four T-bills. All right. Now, if you walk into the bank to buy T-bills, they're going to give you three options, the three popular options, right? They're going to give you the 91 day, the 182 day, and then the 364 day bill. Okay. Now, this 91 day represents three months, right? To make it simple. 182 day represents six months. And then a 364 day represents 12 months. All right. Now, if you check on the BOG website today, 2nd December 2024, for those of us who are not from Ghana, BOG represents Bank of Ghana. All right. So whenever you hear me say BOG, I mean Bank of Ghana. Okay. So on the BOG website, the 91 day bill is currently offering you 27.3%. All right. That's how much you're going to get on your investment. Let me write this better. 27.3%. All right. The 182 day bill is giving you 28%. All right. And then the 364 day bill is giving you 29.8 cent all right so if you walk into the bank today and you decide to invest your money for the entire year you're going to get 29.8 percent now where it gets tricky is when you decide to go for the 91 day bill or the 182 day bill because the rates that you are seeing here 27.3 or the 28 percent is not what you're going to get at the end of your 91 day investment all right or your 182 day investment so if for example you take thousand ghana cities and then you invest a for 91 day bill or you purchase the 91 day bill in three months time you are not going to get 27.3 percent on your thousand ghana cities all right what you are going to get is 27.3 percent divided by four which is 27.3 divided by 4, right? Now, whatever this is, is going to be your return. So this divided by 4 is going to give you something like 6.8 something. Let's check on the calculator. Okay, 6.825. Okay, so this is what you're going to get. This percentage is what you're going to get. At the end of three months, this is how much you're going to get. 68 Ghana cities. All right. So if you add this to your capital, then you're going to be paid 1,068 Ghana cities. Do you get it? Now, why is it that you have to divide this 27% or 27.3 that they are giving for 91 day by 4? Well, whenever they give you this rate, this percentage, 27.3% that they have here, this one it is per annum all right so what they are trying to tell you is if you do this 91 day bill and you don't take out your money and then you compound it for another 91 day 91 day all the way to the end of the year you're going to get 27.3 percent so let's do this calculation this particular period that we have here 364 let's divide 364 by four we're going to get 91 so this basically tells you that if you multiply 91 by four you're going to get 364 so if you do this three months investment which is the 91 day bill four times all right four times you are going to get the final rate of 27.3 percent but the reason why this rate is lower than this rate is because at the end of every 91 days, your money is going to come back into your account. So you're going to have that liquidity and you'll be able to withdraw your money. However, if you choose to go with a 364 day bill, which the interest is higher, you're not going to get your money anytime soon. 
you're going to get it at the end of the year. So let's say, for example, I go and then I purchase a 364-day bill today, which is 2nd December, right? I'm going to get it again next year, 2nd December 2025. That's if the auction even gives me the bill today, right? So it's going to take one whole year for me to get it. However, if I decide to do the 91-day bill today, in three months, I'm going to get my money and my profit back into my account, all right? And then if I want to continue, I will then reinvest that money again for another three months, for another three months, until I get the entire 364 days. I hope it makes sense, all right? Now, for you to be able to make the most out of this T-bill, you have to consider what we call compounding, all right? You have to compound your interest, which is basically the return you are getting plus your capital reinvested for another period. That is something that we need to touch on in another video. So, of course, if you're new here, kindly subscribe, all right? Subscribe to this channel, all right? Subscribe. Become a part of the family so that you don't miss other videos that i share on the platform subscribe and also like this video drop a comment if there's something you want to talk about all right my name is alfred i'll see you in another video i'm out